What's going on guys, Garrett here, and today we're doing episode 8 of our weekly Q&A series. Now this is where you guys ask the questions, and I answer them. You guys can ask anything in regards to GTA 5, my personal life, or whatever you want. And all you gotta do is leave the hashtag Q&A down in the comment section below, or on my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, which are found up there, or down in the description where you guys can go click the links. Make sure you guys go do follow me to stay up to date with GTA 5 and GTA Online. Now with that said, let's go ahead and answer the questions you guys recently asked me. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's episode. Now, here we go. First question comes from Jeff on. He asks, do you think next gen will come with mansions and new properties? Now, Jeff, this is a really good question because this has been something that everyone has wanted for quite a while now. Especially when it comes to bigger mansions that can hold... You know, something like Franklin's house or maybe Michael's house and maybe even um, houses on the water. You never know. But when it comes to mansions and new properties coming to next gen, it's a possibility. Anything is possible with Rockstar. Rockstar is very, very spontaneous with the stuff they've been throwing out in DLCs. And it's been a shock to a lot of people on what they've been releasing. So hopefully we do get new mansions and properties with the next gen consoles and on PC. Because these next gen consoles and PC version will be able to handle that type of content. More content, there's more there's more speed on the next gen, there's more space, there's more everything. It's just much more better performance wise and hopefully we do get new properties and mansions. Next question comes from Matt and he asks, will you be sticking with Xbox for the next generation version of GTA 5? Or will you migrate to the PS4 for the second run through? Now, there's a similar question to this from Osama, and he asked Garrett, Mr. Box of the Wind is switching to PS4 when next gen GTA 5 releases. Because the PS4 will be receiving exclusive content, since he's your friend, will you and the Saints fan switch to PS4 as well? So, sadly, guys, I will be moving from the Xbox 360 to the Sony console. I will be moving to PlayStation 4 with the next gen, but. I will also be getting an Xbox One so I can play with some of you guys as well. Back in the past, I did have a PS3 but never really played GTA Online. Hopefully, I can make that change in the next gen where I'll be playing PS4 and Xbox One because I know myself, Mr. Box of the Wind, and the Saints fan will be transitioning into PS4 but will most likely be playing on the Xbox One with other friends that are in the YouTube space as well just in case they don't have a PS4 as well. So thank you very much for that question, both of you, Osama and Matt. Next question comes from Justin. He asks, will you, Saints fan, and Mr. Bosch of the Win ever play against Quabocop, Jelly, and Cody again? Or can you guys try to play with other YouTubers? To be honest with you guys, we love playing with other YouTubers. As you guys noticed this past week, this whole week, I'll be releasing videos that I did with Quabocop and Jelly. Now, of course, there are different groups and cliques, I guess, in GTA 5 community. As you guys know, we have the squad, which is me, Mr. Bosch of the Wind, and the Saints. And then you have Robust, which is Quabocop, uh, Jelly, and Slogomon. Then we have, you know, the Sidemen. We also have Vinyls' group, and we have... A bunch of other groups in GTA 5 space. Now, I would love to play with other GTA 5 YouTubers. If you guys think that we should play against some races or do some death matches or even last team standings against other YouTubers, leave their names down below in which you think I should play against. Now, of course, it's going to be harder the bigger subscriber count they have. So you can't be like, oh, go play against PewDiePie. Chances of that happening, pfft, slim to none. I highly doubt that'll even happen, but maybe one day. You never know. So the next question comes from KGN Saints, and he asks, do you think it would be cool if Rockstar adds a crossbow and other kinds of unique weapons? Now, I personally think it would be amazing if Rockstar added a crossbow and other types of weapons, especially with next-gen and PC coming out very soon. Now, with these next-gen consoles, anything is possible pretty much, especially on PC. They can do whatever they want. So hopefully Rockstar does take advantage of this by adding a bunch of new content that everybody's been wanting for a long time that the old-gen consoles might have been holding us back on. So you never know. We might be getting crossbows we might be getting flamethrowers we just don't know just yet but stay tuned stay tuned as rockstar says next up we got a very funny question from jose and he asked what's nine plus ten twenty one you stupid you stupid you, 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 you stupid yeah, nah, yeah, nah. what's nine plus ten you stupid you, 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 you stupid yeah, nah, yeah, nah. what's nine plus ten you stupid you, 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 you stupid yeah, nah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Next question comes from Jeremy and he asks, Do you think Heist will come out with PS4 and Xbox One or PC or never? Now, of course, Heist, we don't know when they're coming out just yet. But hopefully they do come out in the near future. Hopefully next month. Now my plan is, or my idea that they're going to do... Let's, let's sit back and think about this, guys. So, Rockstar wants to release Heist. I, I feel like they do. Recently, we had some leak code in terms of achievements and trophies and other things that we... 
most likely will be getting when heists come out. So, you know, we have the heist preps, we have the heist mission names. Now is just when are heists coming? We've been asking this question for a very long time. So now we're just going to be like, okay, well, you know, we have that question in the back of our minds, but when do we really think it's coming now? Especially with next gen coming out next month, November 18th, it's possible that Rockstar will be releasing heists on the drop date of next gen. It's possible. Will they? I don't know. The reason for this is because they want people to play the story mode of GTA 5 in the next gen versions. Now, whether or not they're going to go ahead and drop heists on the same day, I don't know. Most likely, they're going to put off heists most probably till the end of the year and release it at the same time with next gen and old gen. So you never know. It's possible that Rockstar might just wait till maybe even till like December to release it. We just don't know just yet. I'm looking at the calendar and it's most likely going to be towards maybe even the, the beginning stages of December. Not sure if it's coming in November. Hopefully it does, but we don't know just yet. Next question comes from Adam. He says, what games are you looking forward to? Well, there's a few games I look forward to. Right at the top of my head, I can easily say I'm looking forward to The Division. I'm looking forward to Dying Light. Dying Light's another one. Also looking forward to Borderlands a little bit. Somewhat of a somewhat Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Not exactly sure if I'm going to be playing it, but I am looking forward to see what they do differently in this Call of Duty. And uh, the crew, as well as... I think that's about it right now that I can think of the top of my head. There are a few other games coming out next year that I probably could pump out, but right now those are pretty much the set games I'm looking forward to right now. Next up, we have Nico, and he asked a very interesting question, Nico. Nico asked, if we can't see air, can fish see water? Now, I don't even know where you get these questions from, Nico, but I don't know. If we can't see air, can fish see water? I don't know. That's such a weird question. What do you guys think? Do you guys think fish can see water? Let me know in the comment section because I honestly don't know how to answer that. Another weird question comes from Blaze, and he asks, circumcised or uncircumcised? Well, I don't have a penis. <laughs> Next question comes from Alex, and he says, What is your opinion on Shadow of Mordor? Right here. Boom. Shadow of Mordor. I played it for the PS4. I beat the game. Personally, this is going to be game of the year material. This game is so much fun. Highly recommend you guys check it out if you have not played it just yet. I think it's for all consoles, including PC. Go check it out. The ending's not that great, but the overall gameplay of this game is is amazing i had a great time with it i'm sure you guys will as well it has a very batman uh assassin's creed feel to it so if you guys like those types of games this game is a definitely must buy for you next question comes from ingo and he asks do you think they should add in a lock on rocket launcher to fight jets with now personally i think that's a great idea some kind of you know anti-air missile that we could take down jets that would be really cool but whether or not rockstar is going to do it i don't know it's it's possible. It's very anything's possible. There was, I believe, a leaked picture of a uh, anti-air missile leaked a few months ago. I believe it was an anti-air missile rocket launcher. Hopefully, Rockstar does release that in the near future. But right now, I don't see them doing that because they're focusing on next gen. But maybe in the future. Next question, or I guess it's a it's the second to the last question comes from AK Mega. And he asks, "What will be your favorite feature coming to GTA 5?" and GTA Online on next gen. He says, by the way, big Portuguese supporter. Well, thank you. I love my Portuguese fans all from Brazil. Big ups. Thank you for so much, AK uh, Mega, for watching my videos. But I'm not sure what my favorite feature is, as I'm just very excited for GTA 5 coming out on next gen, period. One of the big features I do look forward to is a bigger lobby, around 30 players. That's going to be cool. 60 FPS on PS4 is what I've been hearing as well. That's going to be pretty cool. I'm not sure exactly um, whether or not what the graphics will look like on GTA 5 next gen, but hopefully it does look amazing. I do look forward to it more than pretty much any game coming out next year. So this is like, I'm so excited for it. Hopefully you guys are as well. And last question comes from some, some ugh, huh. last question comes from Sebastian. He says, Hey Garrett, awesome videos, man. But do you think Rockstar is saving all the awesome DLC and items for casinos, Hydra, Heist, etc., for next gen and next gen only? Also, do you think we'll ever get a lowrider DLC? Lowrider cars and hydraulics as in San Andreas. Now, personally, I don't think Rockstar is purposely holding off all the awesome DLC, but I think they're sort of forced to because the Xbox 360 and the PS3 are about 10-year-old consoles. Imagine having a 10-year-old PC and trying to play a game today. It wouldn't work. It's like trying to play on dial-up internet 
and trying to download a huge file. It would take forever or it just would not work. And that's what Rockstar has to work with right now. So are they holding it back? Most likely. But whether it's not, it's because they are doing it on purpose. I don't think so. I think it's just because of the consoles that they had to deal with or work with to make their... I guess game work properly so hopefully you guys did enjoy this series or this episode episode 8 of this q a if you guys enjoyed the face cam here in the corner while there's some gameplay let me know in the comment section let me know what your questions are as well i want to see you guys follow me on facebook twitter instagram the save today with everything gta 5 and gta online related send me questions there and i'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new gta 5 video or you guys can check out the video i did earlier today where i played some awesome funny moments hopefully you guys did enjoy it later